This is a way for them to actually present them as caring and family oriented so the public would actually like them. And it, it's actually a reflection of the public because the public themselves, they, they are actually having their own families. So having a politicians with a, a wife and um, children, they would, they, they would resemble the same or similarities between them. Next one is someone dressing in suit. And if you see someone dressing in suit and the person say, I'm a rock star, you wouldn't believe it. Because you, have, you already have a specific schemas on what is a rock star. Now, a person schemas. We look um, just on the schemas. On a personal level, which is the individual analysis. Now, your past experience on the situation. Person schemas, your schemas form because of your past experience. Like person with torn clothes, sleepers, how do you perceive this person? What is your schema? Ah, he must be poor. He must be a beggar. It might not be. It might be useful. 90% of people with torn clothes or sleepers might be poor people. But if you realize the really rich people, they tend to wear like this as well. Or a person with kanchil. Now, would you see someone with kanchil as poor or having no money? But again, it's often the case, but not always the case. Some people with the biggest house, with the biggest account in the bank, they tend to behave like any one of us. Uh, you just never know. Your past experience on the person would affect your person's schema. Let's say your employer. How do you see your employer or your spouse? Or um, the famous one that we have today, it's Tiger Woods. Have you changed your schema? So in the past, people see Tiger Woods as someone, as the golfer, as the famous golfer. But right now, Tiger Woods and um, people has maybe changed the schema to someone differently. Next one is a role schema. A role means what you're playing. A daughter can be a role. A lecturer can be a role. A doctor can be a role. Um, a friend can be a role. Parents, children, students, teenagers, doctors, lawyers, prime minister. These are roles. Different roles, we have different schema. Now, for an example, if you see a, a, a teacher, and the teacher is having a purple hair going to class, um, you might have problem adjusting to it because you say it's wrong. A teacher should have a black hair and a proper hair. And these are all schemas. We expect children to behave in a certain way. We expect doctors to behave in a certain way. Now, some of the more famous people, let's say the doctors and lawyers and prime minister, we tend to hold them highly in the society because they know it all. But do they? Sometimes through schemas, it's very effective because they play into our thoughts and that's how people when they do advertisement, they would use row schemas, like um, in the advertisement of Colgate. What do you see? You see people wearing white coats. And you might think, oh, it must be a doctor um, promoting Colgate. So Colgate must be something good. This is how um, the world is using row schemas to influence us. And most importantly, we play different roles in life. I'm sure you play more than five roles in your life. Switch according to it. For me, an example, I played the role of um, an adult. I played the role of uh, a tutor. I played the role of a daughter. I play a role of a big sister. I play a role of a little sister. So we play different roles in life. And that's how we switch according to it. We have to behave according and um, differently. Next one, group schemas is groups give us a feeling of belongings and identity. Um, we tend to like to join a group. We like to be belong to somewhere, something. It can be politics, um, NGOs, or in Asia, we joined a photography group, group or the Ferrari group or club membership, we join this group, we join that golf membership, or shopping center, even shopping center, it's a group schema. People going to Ikea is different from people going to Wan Utama, or people going to Mid Valley. Uh, they are different, they have different group schemas. Or the school that you go to, 
When you think of um, Harvard, what do you think? When you think of um, different school, you think of different things. And the car you drive, we give schemas to groups. People driving Kalisa, people driving Honda, or people driving Ferraris. We have different schemas for them. And also the place you stay. People staying in Bangsa, if people staying in Chiraz, or people staying in Kajang, and we give them group schemas. We give them group schemas. Now, the issues that we have right now is doctor make categorization. And doctors, they tend to, when they are brought with a patient with symptoms, with similar symptoms, they tend to conclude that this is the case. But often, um, but sometimes that's not the case. And the doctor might make a very serious mistake on it. Next one, sometimes your schemas can fail you and lead you to disappointment in life. Yeah? Sometimes your daughters with straight A's then commit crime, stealing, okay? or, or being a gangster. Okay? Your, your schemas towards your daughter has changed. Or you would say, I thought, I thought you would behave. I thought or I expect a lot more from you. This is what you often heard from, your, uh, from other people. Because their schemas has already clashed with what they have, with what they have. So, the question is, would you then change your schemas or remain the same? Because ultimately, your decision will affect your other decision. Um, schemas tend to fail us, and that's why you have to evaluate your schemas again. We tend to change our schemas over time. Now, advantages of schemas. The first one is to organize information. Sometimes life is too much to just take in everything without being um, judgmental or evaluative. So we organize information. That's why we, we don't have to, to be too busy keeping information the whole time. Next one is for you to memorize. For you to memorize, ah, people with kanchu. So you know that people with kanchu belongs to this category. Next one is to aid information processing so that your processing is faster. So that you evaluate your process faster. Next one is to assist automatic assumption. And automatic assumptions, we assume many things very quickly. So that we can consume less energy, less mental energy on it. Now also to fill in missing information. Everything on that person, but you're not sure of um, educational level, so you try to fill it in. You might see a professional. You, you, you want to fill it in on where he stays or what he's using. And you try to fit, you try to make a schema on that person. Because go back to what it is again, you try to understand what the person is all about. Human needs to know everything. And also to make assumptions. Yeah, doctors, uh, they are the best examples. If you go to the clinics, they, will guess, they would always give you panadols and antibiotics. Because pe people with fevers need only antibiotics and panadols. And also, um, eight in making predictions. Less effort is needed, as um, we have just said. Next one, emotional response. Um, Schema-driven effect, Prime Minister, we give emotional response. Feeling of happiness or sadness or anger, it gives you an emotion towards that particular person or object. Or self-fulfilling prophecy, we tend to want to categorize someone or something, so people do what you say. Now. Self-fulfilling prophecy is a bit dangerous, um, especially for parents, beware of that. Because, um, let's say parents, one of the famous uh, phrase that they use is, you are useless, okay? And in fact, your children would listen and say, I am useless, and really make it happen for you. And be careful when you say something, because it would happen, it would happen. Um, Another real case, it's one, a real story. It's one successful businessman, and he was brought up by his father since he